back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to display how to create app shortcuts and siri shortcuts using app intents in native ios application so first we'll see a demo for it all i will show you the demo for our app so here you can see uh, i have this uh, app uh, which adds some data to swift data so swift data is a local database if you are not aware you can use core data as well like this functionality can be anything uh, just for simplicity i am uh, adding some data to our swift data database and uh, swift data is a local database and here you can see uh, once the shortcut is called i am adding this task to our to-do list so if i click on uh, add to do so i will just add some task for now just so that uh, you know okay so i have added this task now what i will do is i'll close the, i'll close this app completely okay uh, i'll go to shortcuts and here i will click on plus i'll click on add action i'll s go to apps i'll select my app so my app is data infuse i'll click on add data to swift data so this was the action but you can add any action whatever you want to and cl i'll click on done now i will just uh, click on uh, add data to data infuse and here you can see added data to my app i'll click on done and if i go back to my app again here you can see the data was added so yeah uh, this is the demo let's have a look at the code at the demo first so here as you can see i will add some our shortcut to siri and what i'm doing in that shortcut is basically adding data to my swift data database so it is a swift data is a local database so firstly i will add some uh, data to my swift database manually so uh, i'll click on continue i'll add something okay i'll click on okay now what i'll do is uh, i can close this app i will go to the device so you can access siri even on a simulator so i'll click on siri and before uh, telling something to siri so these are the phases we phrases which you can say to siri so application name is basically whatever your app name is okay so i can say something like log data to uh, data infuse data infuse is the name of my app uh, and uh, first of all siri will add your shortcut uh, app shortcut then only it can uh, do the uh, required operation so i'll show you I'll click on device i'll click on siri log data to data infuse log data to data infuse swift data so here you can see i'll click on turn on so added data to my app so what i'll do is i'll just uh, remove this completely from background so here you can see that shortcut was added and this was the operation and in this operation i was uh, adding this uh, my shortcut task because i have hard coded the task name so let's have a look at the code uh, in more detail so in the demo i am using swift data uh, of, and for that i have created an app shortcut for it but it doesn't have to be swift data you can do anything with an app shortcut like uploading a file to a server adding items in a to-do list creating an alarm it can be anything uh, so here i have just taken swift data as an example so i won't explain much about swift data because i have already created a separate video about swift data if you are curious you can watch that video i'll quickly go through the swift data part so if you see inside view controller uh, I am using storyboard but you can do this with swift UI as well uh, here I, I have embedded our main view controller inside a navigation controller and yeah I think it is taking some time to load but anyways and inside the main view controller scene I have taken a, um, a, a table view okay we'll come back to this uh, I think that story go board got hanged but anyways uh, you just have to okay it is not working I'll go over like this okay still not working anyways you just have to embed the view controller main view controller inside a navigation controller and i have taken a ui table view again this is not part of app shortcuts okay so finally you can see okay next inside view controller i have made an ib outlet for our table view over here i have imported ui kit as well as swift data I have added this UI table view, UI table view delegate data source and I have created a singleton for my database service class which I have created created an array which is this is our model I have this, done this database table view stuff configure UI and fetch data 
here you can see i'm configuring some ui and this is for adding an item manually from the app itself again this is not part of app shortcut i'm fetching some data and here is i'm uh, doing a cell for row at the number of rows in section and this is for swiping the data okay next uh, if you see the core cell so this is how each cell looks like okay next here i have created a database service class now this class will be helpful for adding data from our shortcut app shortcut as well as siri shortcut so here you can see we are initializing our schema i have created a save task fetch task update task and delete task so in your case suppose if you are uploading a file to a server or fetching some uh, api data from your server you might want to create you need to create a single data, something like this next here i have just created our model for swift data now comes the important part of creating app shortcut so firstly you will have to create this class add task shortcut intent and it must extends app intent so i have imp imported swift data as well as app intent here this title can be anything so basically telling the user what your shortcut does so name it according to your wish and here inside the perform method i have told you right i will be using that singleton of database service and i am just calling the save task and i have hard coded the task just for simplicity so here again you can do anything whatever you like so that's how simple it is so once the user clicks on sh uh, shortcut on your added shortcut this task will be performed and uh, if you remember once we clicked on that uh, it displayed a model right at the top like a pop-up kind of thing saying added data to my app so this will this helps us to do that if you don't want to add the pop-up you can comment this on comment this and remove this that's it but i would highly suggest you keep that uh, pop-up or that added data to my app because it gives an uh, you know uh, notification to the user okay that something happened otherwise the user might get confused next so that's it for app shortcut now to create a siri shortcut you first have to add this so for siri shortcut this is necessary next you also have to add this file so create a file or you can name it whatever you wish to you have to extend from app shortcuts provider and here you have to create an array of app shortcuts so i have just created one and here it references the app add task shortcut intent so this file over here and it automatically calls this uh, method for us uh, for siri shortcut now here you can add those phrases which siri will understand uh, to add your app as a siri shortcut you can add a bunch of phrases whatever makes sense to you and add a short title as well as a system image yeah that's it that's how simple it is thank you for watching bye